fucking bullshit. Hey, so my overlay right now looks like this. It says looking for a game to capture. And I hope I can fix it. Otherwise, it just looks like shit. Why does it do that? Why do I want people to think I'm looking for a game to capture? I might have to switch my overlay and go back to, uh, the old OBS. I might have to. Alright, we always start with a lot of swatter. I know we're starting a little bit late, but... Oh, bro. What's wrong with OBS? Well... Well, no sec. Like, like, see this? Watch this. See this? It says looking for a game to capture. It shouldn't say that. It should just be a black screen. You know, I should just be able to start it up and have a blast. I find it interesting. All right, it's interesting. It doesn't bother. You know what bothers me though? You know why it bothers me? Because it wasn't like that the last time I streamed this. Welcome to Swatter, the massive true or false trivia game. We can accommodate a huge number of players in a game. It's fun for just one player, but more fun with a hundred. You know, <clears throat> what, there's no reason why it should have changed from black screen to looking for a game to stream. Not looking for a game to stream. All right, I know then. what I'm streaming. Before we get started, I had this set up for the last, new players can you know, this website four years. And enter this room code to join the game at any time. Let's go. Mm. <laughs> You're going to see seven crazy facts pulled from these fact categories. Cars. In Michigan, cars can't be sold on Sundays. Use your uh. device to pick whether you think the fact is true or a lie. I said true. In several other states. The only Western food chain allowed in North Korea is Long John Silver's. The St. Valentine's Day Massacre took place on St. Patrick's Day. Where's my phone? That's true. What? In Japan, mustache rentals are very popular for dates and business meetings. That is true. C. Hammer was the keynote speaker at a Harvard Business Seminar in 2009. True. <laughs> <sighs> Can't touch this. A giant foam olive is dropped into a 10-foot martini glass every New Year's in Oklahoma. I said a lie. Let's see if I'm true. Australia's number one export is inline skates. Wow. And here's 
where everyone stands at the end of round one. Ugh. I'm not staying up too late tonight. Just for a little while. Here are your next seven fact categories. There were 22 fake Apple stores found in a city in China. I need a new overlay anyway. Hamsters were originally bred to be the Cornish hen of pigs. have forked penises uh no hey uh what was everybody up to today anything good Robert Downey jr. started smoking pot at age six that's true and then he moved on to the harder stuff Some doctors prescribe Mountain Dew to patients with Bell's palsy. I'm going to say true, but I don't know why. <laughs> the British Navy shot beehives out of cannons in naval battles. First NBA game was played in Canada. Really? Here are your scores. Second place. I'm getting there. For the final round, all the facts will be about one category. That category is inventions. These facts are all about inventions. Hey, what's truths up, Daniel? And the lies. Jacques Cousteau was born before the submarine was invented. The electric guitar was invented before the acoustic guitar. No way. The parachute was invented before the airplane. Smoke detectors were invented before fire. Oh, yeah, sure. Cavemen. Cavemen knew. Wow. The bottle cap was invented before soda pop. Wow. The traffic light was invented before the car. Toaster was invented before toast. Ta-da! 
Let's see the final scores. There we go. I win. You know what bothers me about this? Oh, you're looking for a game to capture. Oh, that's so stupid. I hate that. Now, what if we load what the dub? Is it going to go on? Or is it still going to be looking for a game to capture? You know the name of the game, folks. Or is it going to be so big that it really shouldn't be? Why is it so big? See, that makes no sense. Hey, what's up, Josh? It's game time. Everyone head to playwtd.com and enter your room code. We got eight people watching. Let's see how many people join. I'm in. Eating Subway and having vodka iced tea. That's cool. Oh, you know what? How about we'll do the Mario movie sometime soon. Sorry, I didn't see that quick enough. All right. Kit Savage, start it up. Welcome to What the Dub. The rules are simple. Each round, a video will play with missing dialogue. Each player enters their wittiest replacement dub. Players watch the dubs and vote you know, on the If it goes one. quick enough, player maybe we'll play it right the after the this. Wins. I'll it's load up just Mario just for you. How about this Mario and Spider Man? Round one. Wait a minute, what's all that small print there at the bottom? Oh. Wait a minute, what's all that small print there at the bottom? Oh. Give it your best shot and enter your dub! Da -na 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 -na. Quick, enter your dub! Oh, wait a minute, what's all that small print there at the bottom? Oh. That just allows me to murder your children and you can't sue me. Oh, wait a minute, what's all that small print there at the bottom? Oh. That's the part where your daughter consents to be referred to only as an Oompa Loompa and that they must be a factory slave forever in my chocolate. Wait a minute, what's all that small print there at the bottom? Oh, That's nothing of your concern. Just let your eight-year-old sign the paper and everything will be fine. Oh, wait a minute, what's all that small print there at the bottom? Oh, That's all the other things on the document like you can't sue me blah blah blah. Don't read it, you'll just waste your time. Just sign it. Oh, wait a minute, what's all that small print there at the bottom? Oh, Emmy's oh, having a Coca-Cola with vodka. And no eating carry we lay on the toilet. Oh, wait a minute, what's all that small print there at the bottom? Oh, That's my penis size. That's why it's small print. Time to place your vote, folks. All right, let's see. Which one would be good? 
One word. Wow. What do we have? Four people in the audience? Round two. Okay, Dan. I'm one great big erogenous zone. Okay. Dan? I'm one great big erogenous zone. Show him you're not just a pretty face. Enter your dub. You know, I gotta start getting more more sponsors to my channel. For the last month, month and a half. Um, Emma was a sponsor. She still is. I'm just saying, wouldn't it be nice if people cared to drop a dollar or five for once a month? Not that I need it, but it would make me feel a whole lot better. It'd probably buy me a keg. I'm one great big erogenous zone. You're a big something, that's for sure. Okay, Dan? I'm one great big erogenous zone. I have a big bushy pubic zone. Nice. Okay, Dan? I'm one great big erogenous zone. It's pink and moist and you see my head. Okay, Dan? I'm one great big erogenous zone. You call that erogenous, more like E W W W W get wrecked. Okay, Dan? I'm one great big erogenous zone. F y'all that was a great joke. Okay, Dan? I'm one great big erogenous zone. Yeah, that's why you're built like Bigfoot. Round's over. Let's vote. Holy shit. Slick here lands a big tickle and clinches the round. Better luck next time, ankle biter. Round three. Men like their women to be a little cuddly, a little cute, a little sexy, or a little crazy. Which is it going to be? Men like their women to be a little cuddly, a little cute, a little sexy, or a little crazy. Which is it going to be? What are you waiting for? Enter your dub.
Men like their women to be a little cuddly, a little cute, a little sexy, or a little crazy. Which is it going to be? I'm going with horny for $1,000, Alex. Men like their women to be a little cuddly, a little cute, a little sexy, or a little crazy. Which is it going to be? As they say, you don't stick your dick in crazy. Men like their women to be a Why little cuddly, a little cute, a little sexy, or a little crazy. Which is it going to be? What the fuck, Alex? We want all of that. Men like their women to be a little cuddly, a little cute, a little sexy, or a little crazy. Which is it going to be? Ilike my women, like ilike my curries, or ten dangerous. Men like their women to be a little cuddly, a little cute, a little sexy, or a little crazy. Which is it going to be? Why is bad shit insane not an option? Men like their women to be a little cuddly, a little cute, a little sexy, or a little crazy. Hey, what's up, Matt? Which is it going to be? None of the above. I made that mistake a long time ago. Everyone's a critic, including you. All right, I'm voting for that one. Matt, are you having a nice night? Hustle! Hustle! This top dog is hip to the jive. Look at him go! Go me. Ouch! Your jokes need a page one rewrite, buddy. Grab your martini glass. Next up is the final round. Think of your present romance in baseball terms. How would the umpire call it? Think of your present romance in baseball terms. How would the umpire call it? Time to let your ambition soar. Enter your dub. Think of your present romance in baseball terms. How would the umpire call it? Foul play. Think of your present romance in baseball terms. How would the umpire call it? Three strikes and you're out. Think of your present romance in baseball terms. How would the umpire call it? I don't know baseball, but I do know a game sort of like it. Think of your present romance in baseball terms. How would the umpire call it? Two balls and stealing third. Think of your present romance in baseball terms. How would the umpire call it? Grand slam on him bases. Think of your present romance in baseball terms. How would the umpire call it? Out for us making duck. Quack, quack. What did you think what? was the best? Vote!
someone can't cut the mustard. Whew. And here's our winner! Nice. You take the egg, baby. Winner, winner! Two thumbs down. Wow! Our winner has destroyed the competition. This loss will certainly shame them and their families for generations to come. Let All right. Clubs begin. Head to Wait. PlayWTD.com and enter Wait. your room code. How do I exit? Let me reload. I'm gonna reload, and I'm gonna put Spider-Man and Mario. What's buzzing, cousin? Time for what the dub. There you go, Spider-Man and Super Mario. And Willy Wonka, no, I'm kidding. All right, grab some friends, head to playwtd.com and enter your room code. But you know what? I think maybe I, hey. Hey, everybody in the YouTube chat, let me ask you something serious. Um. If I made a sponsor level of like a dollar, just a dollar, would anybody sponsor? You know I'm basically streaming this thing every Tuesday and Saturday. I'm not asking for five bucks a month. But if I made Welcome it a dollar. What the dub? The rules are simple. Each round a video will play with missing dialogue. Each Is this thing on? Does anybody hear me? You don't leave a steady job for some crazy dream. And the worst part? You don't All right, leave I'm just a checking. steady job for some crazy dream. And the worst part? Show them you're not just a pretty face. Enter your dub. I mean, if that's the case, if somebody was a sponsor, like, I would make sure that they got in to get a code. It would seem worth it. I mean, fun is fun, but I'm always there for people. You're almost out of time. You don't leave a steady job for some crazy dream. And the worst part? You give up your happiness in the process and end up eating yourself to death with Vindalu. You don't leave a steady job for some crazy dream. And the worst part? This is America. Think about the money you'll make every hour. Then you'll be disappointed. You don't leave a steady job for some crazy dream. And the worst part? You don't even have any bitches. Gotta have you don't bitches. leave a steady job for some crazy dream. And the worst part? You have children to take care of. 
You don't leave a steady job for some crazy dream. And the worst part? You don't always have to chase Peach around. You don't leave a steady job for some crazy dream. And the worst part? There's no sauce in my spaghetti. Vote or don't. The choice is yours. That's good. Time's running out. One word. Wow. You're headed to Nowheresville, kid. Try harder. So many dubs, so little time. Let's get into it. Let's see what you're made of. Is that a yes? Let's see what you're made of. Is that a yes? Time to shake the world, kid. Enter your dub. Oh, man. Yes? Once you put some sauce on that guy's spaghetti, then it will be a yes. Let's see what you're made of. Is that a yes? Will you just bring your dumb ass on? Let's see what you're made of. Is that a yes? Come back in one piece and he'll let you do a strip search on me. Let's see what you're made of. Is that a yes? No, it means it get a chance to see if my vibratory works better or if you do. Let's see what you're made of. Is that a yes? Only if you're ready for me pegging you. Hey ho! <gasps> Let's see what you're made of. Is that a yes? Maybe, baby. Round's over. Let's vote. Just vote already! You got a face for radio, kid. This top dog is hip to the damn. Job. That's a lot Let of points. Go. Round three. Enough with the show voting. What do you mean? They like it. Enough with the show voting. What do you mean? They like it. Give it your best shot and enter your dub!
with the showboating. What do you mean? They like it. They like when I shake my ass and drop it like it's hot. Enough with the showboating. What do you mean? They like it. Y'all want to see IIT? Enough with the showboating. What do you mean? They like it. They're soon going to make this dance a TikTok trend. Tide Pod Edition. Enough with the <coughs> showboating. What do you mean? They like it. And I gotta get the girls get it on like they're on my donkey don. You know what I just realized? Enough I never put I, ner showboating. I never watched they Super like Mario it. movie. You can't dance. You can't talk. The only thing about me is the way you walk. Enough with the showboating. What do you mean? They like it. Let's do the twist. Vote for your favorite dub. Huh. Ryan Reynolds here for Mint Mobile. It turns out one of the fastest growing segments of people signing up for Mint are people over the age of 55. So I've decided to call our 55 plus plan the retirement plan. That's it. Better luck That's next fun. time, Clever. ankle biter. But we're not gonna go with that, right? Because at 55, people are just getting started. 55, people are just getting started. You're as fit as a butcher's dog, kid. Way to go! Oh, I just noticed that uh, I actually already do have a, uh, a two dollars sponsor level. Up, it's a dollar ninety nine. Have you even gotten one call? Uh, I have yeah. three different levels. Have you even gotten one call? Uh, yeah. What are you waiting for? Enter your dub. Quick, enter your dub! Have you even gotten one call? Uh, yeah. I got a call from Pogo. Have you even gotten one call? Uh, yeah. That's the only call you need. actually from your place. <gasps> Have you even gotten one call? Uh, yeah. The crazy West GTU live up the hill and flashes the colored girls. Have you even gotten one call? Uh, yeah. It was the government threatening to send me to the police because of my meth business. Have you even gotten one call? Uh, yeah. From your mom last night. <laughs> Have you even gotten one call? Uh, yeah. From your mama. Which dub did you like best? Vote now! What the hell? Wow. What a disappointment you turned out to be. Where'd the game go? Yeah, right? What's that? Slick here lands a big tickle and clinches the round. Now you gotta find out where the game went. And here's our winner! Kid, you're slicker than snot on a doorknob. Hi, Stefano. It was Stefano. Ouch! 
Your jokes need a page one rewrite, buddy. See, that's what I mean by I have to fix this. This overlay sucks. Brains, brawn, good looks, and hot dubs. Our winner has it all. Let's give him a hand. Yeah, let's give him a hand. Yeah, I'm gonna have to fix this. Well, Stefano won. So, I have a feeling I know what he's gonna want to play. Let's hope it goes on the screen. Nothing. Wave Spider Man. Yeah. Bullshit. Let's try this. Does this work? Oh, of course it works. Really fucking small. Why is it a little small? Why is it very small? You know, I just want to kill this thing. I'm not even kidding. All right, give me a sec. Are we going to have to do this with every fucking game? Stuff's going to get old quick. The room code is Q P Q D. For your enjoyment, here's the room code. Q. P. Q. D. Anybody else? Alright, start it up. Whoever wins this game can choose the next one. You have traveled to this sacred mountaintop, seeking answers from the all-knowing wheel of enormous proportions. You may now ask the wheel any one question that torments your very soul. Should you be chosen, your longing for truth will be satisfied, and your life forever changed. If you do not submit a question, one will be provided for you. And with that, the wheel of enormous proportions awaits. Hmm. Behold my majestic circumference. Witness my deific diameter. Look at my spinny bits. Yeah, I see somebody got cocky and decided to skip the tutorials. We'll see how that works out for you. Welcome back, the wheel said, with two slices for you. Name me one other talking wheel that would do this for you. We will start with question one. 
Which of these are among the noble eightfold path of Buddhism? Sometimes I imagine myself growing hands with fingers on them, so I can tap the correct answers just like you. I'm glad there's only eight so it's manageable. If there were 10 or 15, most of you would never even try for enlightenment. I'm curious, what did you say? Dun, dun, dun. What in the... These scores are out of control. Question two is what I'm feeling now. Which of these are known as traditional vampire fighting tools? Oh, that's so easy. You never know when they might come in handy. The answers that fit are calling to you. They're saying, tap me, I'm correct. Time to hurry up is right now. In case you're curious, tying them to a wheel and spinning it at a high rate of speed does not kill them, but they get super dizzy and it's hilarious. What did you say? No way. One just isn't enough. Question three comes with the prize of a power slice. Which of these British royal weddings occurred more recently? If you get frozen, take a deep breath and get back in there. Henry VIII. I know you're busy right now, but I just want to remind everyone how neat dolphins are. They're always smiling. Before time runs out. Woo Can you believe you just did that? I choose you. It was always you. Ooh, look what I've got. Our flight. The answer you seek is just a few spins away. Would it be weird if I had a set of bushes trimmed in your likeness? Asking it for a would. friend. Select the slots on my super big face to place your slices. Time is ticking away. Don't miss out on this opportunity. With great consideration, I've selected you to spin first. That's what I'm talking about. You're up. Oh, man. How about that? You ready, new spinner?
Hurry up! I don't want to spin without you! You get to split the pot! Just one last spin? I'm freaking out! The last spin is all in your tiny meeple hands. Where will I stop? Even I don't know! You share the pot and my excitement! I'd like to cross-examine your scores now. We've only played one round so far, but I can already tell this is going to be a game to remember. So I, I wasn't going to say anything, but uh, what's with the fingers? Can I have one or? No. I've lined up some questions, starting with this one. Two beautiful categories stand before me, but I only have one list of correct answers in my vast repository of knowledge. Which of these real creatures have been used in photo shoots on America's Next Top Model? What if you tapped all the answers that fit the prompt? I bet it'd feel pretty good. Probably would. the correct answers wow That's a lot of points how about that another one question two kind of sneaks up on you right I'm gonna give you a series of clues to help you answer this question what one-of-a-kind vehicle am I thinking of Boat. How about some clues? It's a generic name applied to a fleet of vehicles with large windows. It is used by one person. One very special person. Oh. Boatmobile. It's designed to allow the public to see that one very special person as he travels through their city. Come on. Come on. Each vehicle is registered to Vatican City. Ever been to the Vatican City DMV? It's easier to turn water into wine than it is to get out of there. A boat mobile? I'll be frank. It's the automobile used by the head of the Catholic Church. He's the Pope, and he's mobile. The clues are all dried up. You got an answer for me? See, if I didn't ruin it, Bing. you still would have got it. One more slice. He's Question the Pope and he's and mobile. Slice go hand in hand. Maybe this one is more your speed. Which viral video hit the internet first? How about a bigger score than last time? Would that be wrong? Who is Numa Numa guy? The finish line is close now. Hurry. And we're done here. Look at you. Don't stare directly at it. It's like the sun. Our flight. Come up to my room. Mom says we can play Dance Dance Revolution.
Now that you're here, please gently adorn my face with your slice. Some of these slice slots look pretty tempting, right? Get those slices down quick or you'll lose them. We're gonna start this spinning adventure off with you. It's fun to share points. I bet Stefano's gonna win. What a great spin! Next spinner. That's fun for everyone. It's your turn. Yes, yes. Oh, wait, wait. Is it? I'm so pleased. It's the last spin of the round. The last spin duties fall on your oh so small shoulders. Power slice, nice. Oh, I'm all jacked up on this power slice. Oh, baby. I request the slice owner. Ah, spin me over and over. I bear the gift of points. Okay, okay, I can compose myself. Let's move on. Points don't really mean anything, but let's just see who has the most for conversation. They mean something. Okay, that's more than enough scoreboard. Let's roll out. You look like little Lucky Charms marshmallows. Has anyone ever told you that? Enjoy. I'm here to ask question one, and you're here to answer it. Which musical tempo marking is faster? Alexander the Great once played this question and only got four. True story. you need I don't believe it that's two slices I've given you question two incoming as of 2020 which horrifying creatures have been used as disguises on the US version of the masked singer oh I wouldn't even know go ahead and start tapping Have you ever wondered why I ask you trivia questions instead of making you joust while riding tigers? Because I sure have. Go 
Good. Now feast your eyes on these juicy answers. I don't believe it. Two slices is better than one. It is. It's a proven fact. This last one's for a power slice. I wonder if you'll know this one. Which famous American legislative act am I thinking of? Oh, like you weren't thinking about one too. It's part of the Bill of Rights. It says nothing about your right to a speedy trial and nothing about well-regulated militias for that matter. If you want to pray to me or any other god, this amendment has got you covered. Somebody should know this. Hey, you like marching with a thousand close friends trying to chant in unison? This amendment supports that. Uh It protects your right to free speech, freedom of the press, and freedom of religion. Is the Constitution? I'm done with these clues. Do you know the answer? First Amendment. Eh, the that was winner close. is you. You're gonna be so thrilled with this. Our flight. Bam. Now, come on up and spin me. You've got slices, I've got slice-shaped holes. That wheel on your browser may look like me, but it's actually my little brother, the wheel of tappable interfaces. The wheel of tappable interfaces. How corny. Slices you keep go to waste. Oh, how I dreamed that you I didn't even know you could spinner. keep slices. I thought they would be automatically placed. The time to spin me is running out. Mm, how about that? Come to my side, little one. You can win it right here. Dude, you almost had yet. it. It's not too late for you, next spinner. Show me what you're made of. Well, okay. You ready for a new spinner? Cause I sure am. I love this result. This one is in the bag. Oh, I can't even. Come on down. This could be the winning spin. <laughs> We're not through yet, little ones. It's not too late to snatch victory from the jaws of defeat. It's fun to share points. Oh, this is happening. Someone's going to win right now. Will this be the winning spin? Put your back into it! It will be. I called it. No winners yet! You can still win, next spinner! So many How is there no winner yet? It's a pot share! What? Get out of here! All right. Get over here, you. You, you think there'll be a winner right now? now? Give us a spin. 
Stop, stop, stop. There's more game to play yet. Now's your chance to steal the win, next spinner. What a good thing for all of you. Let's finish strong with one last spin. I had a feeling you'd be our last spinner. For Smeg's sake is right. It's the power slice. Uh-oh. I see this coming. We don't need a bonus effect because you're spinning the winner wheel. Come to me. This could be the very last spin of the game. And so, I shall answer your most meaningful question. Spin me one last time and know the truth. Huzzah! The wheel has spoken! Absolutely fucking rigged. That's hilarious. Who's voting Trump? Matt Helms's question was Las Vegas, Nevada? What? All right, you know what? We're going to play one other game, and then you can get a flip and rematch if you want. All right, do you want a drawing game, or do you want a different type of game? Do you want pole mine, or, or do you want... Pole mine or drawful animate. Whoever gets two votes first. Nah, nah, nah. I'm not playing weapons drawn. All right, so I got one drawing game. We got one for pole mine, one for drawing. Next vote gets it. Pole mine. And then we're gonna then we're gonna go back to uh, wheel of enormous proportions because you said you want a rematch. Uh, the room code? It's K I M R. K I M R. He gets it before anything specific happens. What? Yeah, don't start it yet. You only got three people. I'm in two. Looks like three to three. Anybody else want to join in? Here's the room code. It's K. M-R <laughs> yep. 
All right, 10 seconds. Then we start it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Oh, okay. Caught you. So you got trapped while trying to steal my treasure, eh? The ominous eye you see watching your every move belongs to me, Laverne, Laverne Cavern. The only witch preventing you from being stuck permanently punished for your pilfering. And do you have names, perhaps? Print up the t-shirts. So let's start with... What's a 007 movie you'd like to see? Results are in. Follow me. The first round is easy. You'll be trying to find the top three answers. No problem, right? No problem. Nope. Tragic. It's okay if you run out of torches. You can always gain more. At least for now. Wicked. Doi <laughs> King. All right, ready? I got this one. Damn it. You caved. Perceptive. Neat sweep. Which reminds me, pick up your trash on the way out. Let's take a peek at how we're doing. Let's get picky. And let's kick it up a notch and rank four choices instead of three. You've got a court hearing at 12 and a triathlon at two. What are you wearing that day? Oh, man.
You've wasted half your time. Did I say wasted? Good. Let's keep it moving. There's doors to explore. Yeah. For this round, you'll need to find the answers ranked two, three, and four. <laughs> ah. Your monster chow. I'm up next. Well, well, well done. I'm not. Magic. I got that one. has been picked clean. Let's see who's currently leading in the polls. There's one more room and one more survey between you and freedom. This time, let's rank five instead of four, okay? Welcome to wrestling. What's your finishing move? How things change. The timer is half its previous size. Another cavern awaits. For the final round, you'll need to pick from the bottom to the top. Pick the eighth option first and then work your way to number one. All right, my choice, my choice. The bottom. Nope. Monstered. Hey, what's up, Emma? How are you? How's your vacation going? Door. 
Oh. Since that answer is eluding you, let me show you where it is. Remember, the other team got it wrong, so a right answer the chocolate here fountain. ends the game. Better luck next time. Or maybe this one. So where are you on vacation at? That you've got a chocolate fountain. Who's up, JJ? They're probably not actually there. Hmm, I thought you had that one. Let me get that for you. Bunch of kicks. Come on, Daniel. Solid. That's cool. Take a bunch of pictures. Well done. As promised, here's the way out. I'd shake your hands, but I've got cave dirt all over me. Ta-ta! And for the non-winners, I hope you like damp rocks and no exits. <laughs> all right. Ready? It says it's loading. I don't see it loading. Oh, Jackbox Party Pack is not responding. So it crashed. Hey, check your messages. You got it. Hey, what's up, Joker? One sec. Uh, how am I loading this?
An error occurred while launching this game. You know what? Load, damn it. An error occurred. How the fuck? Give me a sec, people. Why is it giving me an error? An error occurred while launching this game. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Hold on a sec, I'll figure this out. Now it should be okay. Maybe. Possibly. Alright. An error occurred while launching this game. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm trying to get it to load. I'm trying to get this thing to load. Unsaved data may be lost. Stopping. Give me a sec. I'm trying to load it. Thank goodness. It's looking for a game to capture. Everybody, don't use anything bad for our wording. Otherwise, I'm going to do private codes. Looking Got it? Looking for a room code? It's B. V. X. X. Allow me to present your room code. B. V. X. X. Yeah, I see that, right? Hey, Joker. That's my job. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> Alright. You can start things up. Six people. I'm fine. to this sacred mountaintop, seeking answers from the all-knowing wheel of enormous proportions. You may now ask the wheel any one question that torments your very soul. Should you be chosen, your longing for truth will be satisfied, and your life forever changed. I am on here for at least another half hour. If you do not hour. submit a question, one will be provided for you. 
Excellent. The wheel of enormous proportions will see you now. Behold my majestic circumference. Witness my deific diameter. Look at my spinny bits. Guess we don't need to worry about those pesky tutorials. Let's begin. Welcome back, the wheel said, with two slices for you. Don't worry, I've got plenty. I'm in the mood for question one. Which of these are actual Shakespeare plays? As for you in the audience, vote for the player you think will do best. If the majority of you guess right, you'll learn a special slice of your own. <laughs> oh, your phone disconnected. Try to see if you can reconnect. TikToks and we're done here. Man, I hope you can reconnect. Good job! Provided you answered like this. How did you compare? What in the... The top scores have me feeling all warm and fuzzy. How about some top score recognition? Another one! Let's keep up this momentum with question two. Which snacky snacks are Frito-Lay snacky snacks? Okay. Remember, if it's not Frito-Lay, it's just Frito-Nay. <laughs> yeah, I just made that up. Go ahead and start tapping. Your oh, tap time man. is ticking away. <sighs> Kitty, are you going to be okay to hold out for the next game? All right. The answers look something like this. How many did you get? Oh, no, you didn't. Two slices is better than one. This last question is where the power slice is hiding. In the Phil Collins tune, In the Air Tonight, how many seconds in does his epic drum break take place? Let's be clear, I'm talking about the studio recording, not the music video. How close can you get? That's what I'd like to know. Here's a number, quick, we don't have all day. Show your numbers. Hmm, does your answer match this? I so wish I could use that drum crash for winning wheel spins. I just, I, I can't afford the licensing fee. You did the best, it's impressive. Don't stare directly at it. It's like the sun. Our flight. So it's time for some spins. Let's go. I see you made it up the mountain. That means my bear traps are poorly hidden. Select the slots on my super big face to place your slices. Oh, and then there's the audience. They have one slice this round to stir up trouble. Look, I'm gonna spin with or without your slices, so let's go already. We're 
going to start this spinning adventure off with you. Oh, that is fun. Extending the lead. It's audience time! Do you want me to give points to the player with the most slices or the fewest slices? Everyone vote on your device now. Voting time is just about... And the most popular vote was... And so it shall be. Okay, this is where your comeback begins. Hey, how about a spin from a new spinner? Power slice. You spun me and I stopped on the power slice. Stefano's gonna win. Slice owner, where are you? Choose any two players to make them swap points. Who has a swappable score? You tell me. A decision has been made. You're up. What if you used your device to spin me? That'd be a fun thing to happen. You share the pot and my excitement. It's time for the last spin. God, where does the time go? Make this one count, last spinner. How about that? Let's put you and your scores on blast. Round one is behind us, and already it feels like we're all a little older, a little wiser, a little, dare I say, more mature. It's a slice party, and you're invited. to introduce you to question one. Which of these are actual varieties of beans? When you see an answer that fits the prompt, give it a little tap. That's what I would do. Your tapping finger only has time to tap a few more. How about some answers, baby? I'm curious, what did you say? Another slice. I've got a second question to share with you. How old was Tenzin Gyatso when he was recognized as the 14th Dalai Lama? Five. Choose a number that makes you feel warm and special. It was a guess. But I'll play a good guess. A very lucky guess. Submit your number now. Time is short.
but I wanted. Was it six? I was close. Or is that four? Four. A second slice, yes. Question three is when the power slice comes out to play. Here's a matching question I know you'll appreciate. Match the artist to their instrument. Pair them off. These answers belong together. Piano. Exactly matched what? Oh, how about that? It must be you is who I pick. Are you ready for something shiny? Wow, he's got so many points. Time to ascend. Watch out for the hawks up there. They will wreck you. So glad you can join me up here with all those slices you have. Oh, I can't wait to see where you go. Get those slices down quick or you'll lose them. How I've dreamed that you'd be our first spinner. Hurry up! I don't want to spin without you! <sighs> I'm decelerating, and very soon... Rama Lama Ding Dong! Stretching that lead! It's your turn. What a good thing for you. You ready, new spinner? Where will I stop? Even I don't know. Oh, yeah. New spinner. That spin really amps things up. Spin like it's your last spin of the round. Well, if you don't spin me, I'll just rotate on my own. Multiple winners! yours will this be the winning spin put your back into it this game is going long let's get real introspective regarding your scores one of you is on the verge of winning oh i can't stand it Mm, another pair of savory slices. Oh, man. Enjoy. Question one is the first of three questions. Which historical figure on American currency is worth the least money? Common circulated currency only. Get a wrong answer, and I'm going to freeze your device for a few seconds. It's going to be 
close. We could still edge this one out. How can that be? Take another. Mm. Question two, anyone? I'm sure you all know this, but... Which famous people are mentioned in Madonna's Vogue? Tap the answers that fit and totally ghost the ones that don't. Hey, I know I'm the one with all the answers, but does someone want to explain to me why calzones and stromboli are two different things? Oh, sorry, I'll let you focus. to do. How about some answers, baby? Impossible! How can you be smart like that? Bing! That's two slices I've given you. Answer this last one the best and win a power slice. I think we're gonna need a laugh track for this next question. Match the sitcom to its setting. I wanna see everything match, go! to an end. Done. And the answers that matched are... Well, that all checks out. I must break you, is what Ivan Drago from Rocky IV would say about this tie. You! Ooh, look what I've got. Our flight... With the power slice in hand, the meeples brave the summit. Oh, I'm so happy you made it up the mountain. I used to host a game from the Labyrinth of Pain and Despair. This is going much better. I'm eager to spin. Let's get those slices down. Time is ticking away. Don't miss out on this opportunity. With great consideration, I've selected you to spin first. You still there? It's a pot share. No. No. Come on down. This could be the very last spin of the game. Could be. It is. Winner. And so it is finally time to answer your most personal question. You gotta spin me one last time now. Okay, I gotta know. Was it everything you hoped for? Nah, never mind. Let's not kill the mood. Right.
Emma, what game do you want me to play? It's up to you, I'll make it the last one. Super deity. Because I get to get a good five hours of rest. Obviously. Hope you're really good at trivia. DJ Carey. See, it takes so long to pop up. Batman X. You know what? I guess I'll join. I'll do the last game. Wait, XR. Ugh. Matt, I'm going to bed. You can play, you can play Quiplash 3. All you have to do is become a sponsor and I'll stay one more round. How's that? Alright, start it up. I have to be awake tomorrow in five hours. The local residents familiar with the abandoned building's history know it simply as the Murder Hotel. So I cannot... I'm sitting here yawning. Next, Sassafras. Sassafras. This is your wake up call. Prepare to die. Welcome to Trivia Murder Party. Death's in the air, and there's free coffee in the lobby. Only one of you will survive. And me, I'll survive as well. <laughs> Hubblebrag. Okay, first question. What do Scoville units measure? Oh, jeez, I don't know. Use your device to answer the question. <laughs> Time's almost up. And the correct answer is... Who got the question right? The rest of you, follow me. Housekeeping! We're at room 105. Let's see who has ESP. Type in an answer that fits this category. Everyone else will answer too. And if anyone matches you, you die. Including any potential mind readers. Uh. Answer time is coming to an end. Um, I don't know. You didn't answer. How dare you? 
They both kind didn't answer? Like magic, but a death is a death. Jeez. We're not done with you yet. Okay, so don't freak out. But you're a ghost now. Keep playing and you just might steal someone else's life force and win the game. Let's try another one. What did Don Quixote wear on his head because he thought it was a magic helmet? <laughs> Almost out of time! <laughs> Wrong. It's time. Welcome to room 227. Oh, jeez. You're going to drop down this board and try to avoid the death zones. Hmm. Someone needs to pick which slots are death zones. <sighs> hey, you. Pick the landing slots that kill. Wait. So do ghosts pick? Okay. Uh. Let the games begin. Pick a spot to drop from. There we go. Pick a spot or I'll pick it for you. I made this board in shop class. Land in a slot or up. Hey, good work with the death zones. Damn, Emma. This hotel's been in my family for generations, and it's amazing to think about how many generations of guests have been murdered here. Okay, this is our stop. Let's keep moving. How many strikes do you need to throw to bowl a perfect game? That's a trick question. <laughs> I still got it wrong. Come with me. Let's do a spooky handwriting test. The ghost of my aunt Mildred loves to write words on mirrors. Pay attention to her unique handwriting. Now, Aunt Mildred is going to write a different word. But so will all the safe players. Draw a word on the mirror and maybe you'll trick someone into thinking it's Aunt Mildred's. Go ahead and start writing. Watch closely. One of these new words will be a word written by Aunt Mildred's ghost. So many convincing words to choose from. Now, type the word that Aunt Mildred wrote or you die. Would the real Aunt Mildred please stand up? Aww, you got it! This is my second most disappointing experience with a mirror. We're here! When one player is left alive, we'll go to the final round. Next question. What's blocking the man's face in McGrate's painting, The oh, Son shit. of Man? One sec. You know... 
Time to stop. <laughs> Let me try to fix this. Who picked this? I have to see what I is show you something. open. Time to get out the dice. Don't worry. Four, this one's real straightforward. Seven. The player who rolls the highest ten, will die. But we've got some help to make this more interesting. You have an extra die that you can give to whoever you want to make their odds worse. There we go. Got it. All right. Come on already. Hmm. That doesn't change a whole lot. Oh well. Now roll. The player with the highest. Dice don't lie. Let's try another one. What's a gnomon? What's a gnomon? Almost out of time. Who picked this? There we go, I got it right. Time for consequences. Quiplash, there you go. Why don't we just relax and play the game Quiplash? The game will send a question to your devices. Enter the best answer you can think of and hit send. I gave you a nice long timer for this. It's more for me though. I have some bony knives that need sharpening. Enter something or I will be very angry. Enter something. Let's see those quips. The one thing that should never be crispy. Ugh. You didn't play, so you're not invited to my next party. Let's keep moving. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, when were baby boomers born? Baby boomers. <laughs> Time's almost stop. <laughs> Who picked? This. Damn it. It's time. This one lets you protect yourself with the password. Enter a real four letter word with your device. Don't make it easy. If someone cracks your password, you die. Hurry up. Couldn't think of a four-letter word? Yikes. Okay, I'll type one in for you. And I'm putting your password in the closed captioning. So if you have it turned on, everyone will see it. Now everyone else will try to crack the password. As a team, guess the password on your device. You get a clue if your guess has a letter in the right spot. 
All right, let's see this. If anyone figures out the password before time runs out, I will reward you all. Wait, it's not letting me enter anything. This is a team effort, so share clues out loud with each other. Pretty weak password. Aww. That was a weak password. Let's try another one. What's that thing called where you involuntarily jolt yourself awake right as you're falling asleep? I hate that thing. Um, uh, a cannonball into the void. <laughs> Stefano, why do you hate bowling? Time's running out. Is it really that bad? Who picked this? Come with me. Let's get our math on. Do as much math as you can before time runs out. Everyone else will be playing along. If one of them does better than you, it's punishment time. Let's go. I think bowling's okay. Uh... So Americans say math. But the British say mass. That's weird, right? Do they really? This is pretty much the end of the time. Ah, crap. You didn't fail. Almost. Everyone can see that the dead players are ghosts, right? I'm not just freaking out. Let's keep moving. This is the last game of the night, what by the way. What is the capital city of Canada? Oof. Is it fuck if I know? <laughs> Time's almost up. <laughs> Who picked this? Only a ghost got it wrong. Lucky guesses. Let's try another one. Which musical features characters named Tracy Turnblad, Motormouth Maybell, and Seaweed? Almost out of time. Everyone's gonna get this right. Who picked this? Really? I got it wrong. I want to show you something. Congratulations! You've been entered in my scratch ticket giveaway. Scratch and find three dollar signs to live. If you keep scratching, I'll give you cash for every dollar sign you find. But if you scratch off even one skull, you die. Get to scratching. There's one. Ooh, wouldn't it feel good to Two. scratch some more spots? Come on, one more. The contest is almost over. Played it pretty safe. Boo! What a ripoff!
Well, this Where's is him? fun, but I need it to end. Time to get serious. Okay, this is a game where only one person can survive, so... I hope you don't mind a little water. Only one of these keys will open the lock to your tank. So many keys to choose from. You're supposed to find a key that works. Try again. Wow, you're really bad at finding the right key. One last check. Oh, I just remembered that I have oxygen tanks in storage. Sorry. Glad to see you're the one to make it here alive. But will you be the one to escape? I'm going to give you a category. Agatha Christie Mysteries. Tap each answer that fits the category and then press submit. Let's see the right answers. You advance one space for every correct answer. You're on your way to escaping. Ah, but it's not just you. If a ghost catches up with you, they will steal your life force. Then they can escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question. And ghosts get a third choice to help them catch up to you. Uh, most common English letters. Time is almost up. None. You gotta be kidding me. Honda vehicles. Next question. I'm trying to catch up. Cat breeds. Wow, everybody got it wrong. Don't look back because there's a ghost right there. Uh-oh, here comes trouble. Are you afraid of the dark? Yep. Love stories where they don't end up together. Time is almost up. You're better than I thought. Here comes the next question. Beatles songs. Don't steal your life force. Kentucky Derby winners. I'm catching up. Here we go. More stolen life force. Power drone. Time is almost up. See, that's not fair. Common varieties of big. Catch him back up. Where do you think you're going? If you want to break through that barrier, you'll need a perfect answer to this question. 
And that includes the third answer choice now, too. Uh-oh, here we go. Good night. See, what a way to end the game. Alright everybody, thanks for joining tonight. I gotta go to sleep in about 12 minutes. So I can have five and a half hours sleep. I should be able to do it. I'll see everybody on Thursday. No, not Thursday. Saturday. So, look for me, alright? See you later, everybody. I'm out. Oh, by the way, I'm going to fix my overlay before I stream next. Because this is annoying. It's really annoying. <laughs>